Unbelief itself is actually an evil. Okay, it's it's an evil. So he he quotes uh, Saint Paul, where he says, "Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief, and to depart from the living God." That the Israelites were not allowed to enter into God's rest because of their unbelief and the hardness of heart. Okay. So he shows that here says in all these in all this passage we see that the main scope of the apostles is to show that unbelievers cannot go to heaven. Right? And that this truth is confirmed by Almighty God even with a solemn oath. And that Bishop Hay points out that this evilness of unbelief is connected with all kind of other wicked sins in scripture. So he says, uh, remember, he says, the Holy Scripture declares that unbelievers, okay, instead of going to heaven, shall be condemned to hellfire, and classes all such in company with the worst of crimes. And here he quotes Revelation 21, 8. He says, Thus Almighty, the Almighty himself declares to St. John, the Apostle, quote, But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable, and the murderers, and the whoremongers, and the sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, they shall have their portion in the pool, burning with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, we see that unbelief is connected with all kind of wicked evils, and that that unbelievers can have no sense, can have no hope of being saved because they don't believe. They, there's no virtue of faith with them. Okay, so he goes on to say, if therefore Almighty God has sworn, he says, what's that what he uses? If Almighty God has sworn that unbelievers shall not enter into his rest, and if he declares that their portion shall be in hell. One must shut his eyes on purpose not to see that true belief, true faith in Jesus Christ and his words, namely that faith without which it's impossible to please God, is absolutely required by Almighty God as a condition of salvation. So we have to be blind, he says, to what the scriptures are saying. We have to be blind to think that unbelievers can have any hope of salvation if God himself has sworn with an oath that they will not enter his rest by unbelief, being the evil of unbelief. You know, and... So, this just gets me thinking about, of just stuff I, you know, I've heard, you know, we hear about, you know, can we hope that atheists will go to heaven... You know, <laughs> look, uh, I mean, they have no virtue of, there's no way, okay, an atheist is going to make, an atheist can make it to heaven. Atheists who reject God, they have, they have no, and then we're not talking about just unbelievers, I'm, you know, it, can we talk about unbelievers, though, I think he might be here who, I mean, maybe speaking of atheists here, maybe, maybe Bishop Hayes speaking of unbelievers in general, all unbelievers, you know. Whether they are Protestant believers, you know, atheist believers, all, all unbel anyone who doesn't believe the true faith, basically, it seems like what Bishop Hayes is talking about. But let's be even more specific. Let's talk about atheists. I mean, they don't even have the they they don't even have the virtue of faith. I mean, Saint Paul says that if he who believes God, who believes in God must first, or he who's going to approach God must first believe that he is, and he's a rewarder of those who seek him. You know. That without faith it's impossible to please others. They don't. So when you hear about oh, atheists, hopefully you know there's just no way. It's just no way. They are without excuse. They they can't be invincibly ignorant. You know they can't be invincibly ignorant because they're without excuse. Saint Paul says. It. I think Vatican One had defined that that God can be known with certainty through creation. So they're without excuse for not seeking and knowing the true God. 
They're, they're not going to have an excuse, so they have no hope. There's no way they can be, they can be saved. So to say that some unbelieving person is going to be in heaven, like Pope Francis said, it just shows that he doesn't, yeah, he just doesn't know, the, doesn't believe the faith, you know? I mean, I, I don't even think this is even a debatable issue, <laughs> okay? You know, I mean, how much culpability certain people have, well, which Bishop I think will get into certain things like this, but to deny this the obvious, you know, you have to be blind. You have to just willfully not, you have to just willfully uh, reject certain aspects of, of the truth. 